Tammy Terrell's work was a counter narrative to the violence that white media showed in our communities. Her music promoted the beauty of black life and love. But how could she do this without selling her soul like so many before her? She decided to take a break, but was unaware of the silent threat that was stalking her. This is Two Minute Black History. What you didn't learn in school. All Tammy Terrell wanted to do was sing beautiful, positive music that showed the love, romance, joy, and reality of Black life. But she'd had enough of her singing groups bickering and violent relationships with men. She decided to step away from music and start a pre-med program. She was begged to return to the spotlight and signed with Motown Records on her 20th birthday. As she continued her popular duets with Marvin Gaye, Tammy Durrell's star continued to rise. But then tragedy struck. In the middle of the performance, she got dizzy and collapsed in Gaye's arms. A brain tumor had been stalking this young, beautiful star who'd sacrificed so much for her music. After eight unsuccessful surgeries, she died at 24 years old. But her music lives on in us. We all have something to contribute to the enrichment of our community. Presenting a positive self-image and celebrating Black love and joy enriches and empowers all Black people. In order to move towards the future, you've got to look to the past. This has been Two Minute Black History, a podcast by Push Black. If you enjoyed this episode and want to show your support, please rate and subscribe to our podcast. Together, let's celebrate and honor the legacy of Black history.